A lot of what people think of as meditation is actually visualization or relaxation. Um, actual meditation involves shutting down the visualization component of the mind. So much of what we are taught and we learn from our culture about what meditation is usually entails some kind of visualization, you know, in, envisioning yourself in a peaceful place, doing peaceful things and all of that. And there's nothing wrong with that type of meditation. It's a good thing, especially if you're a very, very, very beginner. But eventually, when you really want to get into actual meditation and not just visualization and relaxation, you want to do actual meditation, then you have to step it up a little bit and there has to be more discipline involved. It's not just for relaxation. It's for producing transcendental events. That's what meditation is for. So this is a quick video, simple, on how to meditate. So first of all, in the way that I'm going to tell you to meditate, I give you a reference point, somewhere to be, so that you're not just sitting with your eyes closed and you're just kind of in there with no reference point, no place of being, no place where it's your center of consciousness and you can just sit down there and just be. And so that's why I'm telling you that the first thing that you need to do when you sit down and get comfortable, you relax yourself, you place your consciousness in the center of the head, right in the middle of your head, right where the pineal gland is. And I've done, or I will be doing another video about the self within the pineal gland specifically. And I'm talking really quietly, even though I have my mic on and I'm sorry, my voice gets kind of cracky when I'm trying to talk quietly. There's actually somebody meditating um, in the house, so I'm trying to not disturb. So anyway, the first thing is so important here where you have a reference point, a place to be. You're not just lost inside of your own psyche when you're sitting there meditating, wondering what to do with yourself. Put yourself in the center of your head, place your consciousness, and you'll sense that your identity, that your self is there, that your center of consciousness. If nothing else, if you don't sense a self, then you can sense that the center of consciousness, a center of consciousness exists in the middle of your head. We've got to all admit that. Second, when you've done that and you're sitting there in the center of your head and you've got your resting point there and you've got your consciousness kind of gathered to that point, this is when the problems occur, right? The thinking starts and the mind gets distracted. That center of consciousness loses its center and goes over here and thinks about this and goes down this line of thinking and goes down this memory lane. So the first thing that we have to do is stop thinking. But how? That's always the question the students ask me. But how? And that's the best question in the world in terms of meditation when you're learning meditation. How do I stop thinking? So the first thing is just like you have to maybe sit down and force yourself to even sit down and to become quiet and to become comfortable and put yourself in the middle of the head, you may be forcing yourself to do these things. At the same time, you have to force yourself to stop thinking. How do I force myself? You say no to thoughts repetitively. So I'm sitting down, I'm comfortable, I'm in my meditative posture. I've got my consciousness centralized in the middle of my head and here come the thoughts every time. They're always, they're always a, a routine and they're always there. You can always count on them. And so then I see them coming. Here it is, it's knocking at the door, wants to be thought about wants to be remembered, and I say no, 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 all the way around, all of you, nope, 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 and they're going to keep trying to come, nope, 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 you have to say no inside to the thoughts, that's what I have concluded, having done lots and lots of meditating, you simply have to force yourself to say no to the thoughts, you're sitting in there comfortably in the middle of your head, you're resting your consciousness there. And here come the thoughts. No, no, I will not think about you. No, I won't remember you. No, I won't think about what happened at work today. No, I won't think about what so-and-so said the other day. No. Now, this next one here, being aware. What does the mind do? So the mind has routine functions that it does over and over again, and, and they're the same within basically all of us. What are they? 
the mind visualizes things. It imagines things. It thinks ahead. It conceives. It has a, a function that allows it inner vision. That's something that the mind does. So imagination, we'll call it collectively the function of imagination. So that's one thing that the, that the mind does. What does the mind do? It imagines. What else does it do? One of the biggies is that it remembers things. It loves to reminisce on the memories that it holds in its memory containers within. And the mind has its own way of sort of picking and choosing the thoughts that it's going to send up to the self to, to remember and to deal with. So memory is a major function of the mind that we have got to say no to during meditation. You're not sitting there so that you can remember stuff from your childhood or stuff from, you know, any time in your life that you don't want to remember or that you do want to remember, even memories that you do want to remember. We don't want to remember any of it. It's a function of the mind that in real meditation, we shut down. What else does the mind do? Okay, so one of the things that it does also is it sleeps. Okay, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory, right? In meditation, we want to try to avoid falling asleep because that becomes a habit. Oftentimes when people um, meditate, they fall asleep and it becomes like this habit that they have a hard time getting out of. So that's also the reason that you want to sit up. Sit up. You don't have to be sitting in a full lotus posture. You don't have to be doing anything special, but you want to be sitting up so that your upper body is up. You've got a good back support. You're comfortable with your legs, however your legs are in a, in a chair or on a couch or on the floor. But sitting up helps you avoid falling asleep because we've got to avoid that function of mind too. Okay, because we're not doing meditation to fall asleep. What else does the mind do? It perceives. Uh oh, I'm going to spell perceives wrong. Look, I did. I don't even know. So it perceives things and it perceives things correctly or incorrectly. Okay. That's another sort of obvious one where it's like things are happening all around the mind all the time. And the mind has to make determinations. It's discerning all the time. It's filtering information all of the time. And so sometimes it perceives things correctly. And then sometimes it makes mistakes and it perceives things incorrectly. So we stop perception too, altogether. We stop imagining things. We stop remembering things and we stop perceiving things and we don't fall asleep. That's basically the functions of your mind repetitively. Study it. And if you can find another function or other functions, let me know. These are the functions that Patanjali himself listed in the Yoga Sutras as the functions of the mind. So the next thing is the last thing. I'm going to end this video because I want it to be easy and simple. Sense yourself when you're there in the center of your head. Say to yourself, I am. I exist. I know I exist. Here I am. Right here in the center of this head. Right here as a passenger within, it, within this vehicle within this physical vehicle and within the mental subtle body vehicle. I am, I'm a passenger here. I sense myself. I spend this time sensing myself, being myself and empowering myself through the attention that I give. I am. You can go to church and you can say, I am all you want, but until you sit in meditation and you feel and you are the I am, then you haven't integrated this. And so what do you do? You sense yourself, I am, and what do you do? You wait, you wait. What do you have to do? Sit there, relish in the I am, allow consciousness to settle and wait because transcendental things can and will occur. But remember, you've got to force yourself to do this. You've got to do this daily, 
or at least four times a week. There's got to be some discipline. You've got to put some limits on yourself in terms of what you're going to do. So anyway, right here in the middle of the head, go there. Stop the thinking. Say no to the thoughts and sit there and sense yourself. I am. I exist. I know I exist. And there's bliss within that knowing. So if you have any questions about how to meditate or anything to add to what I've said, please leave it in the comments. Have a good day.